All right, lesson seven. Graph the number seven and its opposite on the number line. Graph the number five and its opposite on the number line. Okay, so seven is here. Oops, it's not wanting to write. Let me see. There we go, okay. So seven and its opposite is negative seven. And then they want us to graph the number five, so I'm gonna switch colors and the opposite of five, which is negative five. Okay, so that's all part A needed us to do. Where does seven lie in relation to the number five? So we're looking right here. So if I'm at seven, nope, it's asking, so where does seven lie in relation to five? So if I'm standing here on five, how do I get to seven? How do I get there? Seven is one, two units to which direction? The right. So two units to the right. Where does the opposite of seven lie on the number line in relation to the opposite of five? So this time we're looking at negative seven and negative five. So I'm standing on negative five. How do I get to negative seven? I would jump one, two units to the left. So if we're standing on 5 and negative 5, I have to move in opposite directions. So if we move right, that means we're getting bigger. If we move left, that means we're getting smaller. So 7, we had to move right to get there. So that means 7 is larger than 5. But when I was standing on negative 5, I had to move left. So that means negative 7 is less than negative 5. So, um, if you want to make that note, negative 7 is less than negative 5. And uh, 7 is greater than 5. Alright, part D. I am thinking of two numbers. The first number lies to the right of the second number. What can you say about the location of their opposites? So if I'm thinking of a number, the first number lies to the right. So that means, how would that change if we're looking at their opposites? It would be flipped, right? So with the opposites, the second number, let me move this yep so the second number would be to the right instead of the first all right example one the record low measures f temperatures sorry for a town in Maine are negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit for January and negative 19 degrees Fahrenheit for February. Order the numbers from least to greatest. Explain how you arrived at your answer. Okay, so what I'm going to think about, this is Fahrenheit. So if I were looking at a thermometer, it would look like this. Now negative 19 and negative 20, they would be right next to each other, right? Yeah. So, if I'm counting down to my negatives, negative 19 would come first and then negative 20. Because if we showed, if we extended this and we had 0 here, we had 19 and 20. Remember, they're in the opposite order with their opposites. So... 
or negative 19 is that the least or the greatest? It would be the greater of the two because it's higher up on the number line. So negative 20 is our least and negative 19 is our greatest. And I'm not going to write an explanation because I just explained that to you. Um, you should be able to come up with a good explanation on your own. Okay, exercise two. For each problem, order the rational numbers from least to greatest by first reading the problem. So read the problem, draw a number line, and then explain your answer. All right, so John's time for running the two mile in class is 9.2 minutes. Jackie's time is 9.18. Who ran the mile in less time? So we read it. Now we need to draw our number line. And I'm going to count by, so I'm going to have 9.10 here, 9.15 here, and 9.20 here. So 9.2 is the same thing as 9.20. So I'm going to put a dot here. I'm going to highlight this in green so that way I know who I'm talking about. Now I'm going to get Jackie. 918. Where would 918 go at? It would go between 915 and 920, right? Probably be right about here. Okay, so now we need to order them from least to greatest. So if I'm moving to the right, which one is the smaller one? I come to 918, 9.18 first. And then I keep moving right to get to 9.2. So that means 9.18 would be my smaller one. And 9.2 is my greater one. And you need to explain on your own. So for 3 and 4, you will be doing the same thing as we did up there. You need to read it. You need to decide. You can do vertical. You can do horizontal. Do the one that makes the most sense. Number 4 they're talking about fish beneath the water surface. I would probably use a vertical number line there because that's visually how the water would be. Okay, example two. Henry, Janon, and Clark are playing a card game. The object of the game is to finish with the most points. The scores at the end of the game are Henry, negative seven, Janon, zero, and Clark has a negative five. Who won the game? Who came in last place? Use a number line model and explain how you arrived at your answer. All right, so the last one I did was horizontal. So I'm gonna do a vertical number line this time. All right, so I'm gonna have my zero be in the middle and I'm going to count by one. So one, two, three, four, five, fiddle right, there we go, five, six, seven, and then I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down below. If you have more room, I only had room for seven, but you can go past that. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and negative 7. All right, so Clark, I'm just going to go to Clark first because that's the highlighter color I have up. Clark got a negative 5, so I'm going to go put a dot on negative 5 for Clark. I'm going to change to orange for Janin. He got 0 points. And go to yellow for Henry who got negative seven. So the, the one who finishes with the most points is the one who won. So who has the most points? They would be the higher up on our number line. That would be the orange one, right? So that would be Janin. So Janin won. And who came in last place? So who whose dot is the furthest down? Henry. So Henry came in last. 
Okay, explain how you arrived at your answer. So, we used the number line. And saw that Janin was the highest Sorry, guys. And Henry was the lowest. Okay, so the difference we so exercise five and six are more like example two and Exercises two, three, and four are more like example one. So on here, you're only on this page above example two, we're only comparing two numbers. But for exercises five and six, you're going to be comparing three numbers. Okay, and then if you're not in person, you're not going to be doing this today. So finish exercises three, four, five, and six, and then do the problem set.